Hi, whenever you are uh, searching any job, just randomly I picked one uh, uh, job profile from Nokri.com. So in every job profile, you will find some job descriptions are uh, there and uh, uh, the desire required, which is required for uh, like from the employer point of view, it is mentioned and accordingly, if those informations are there in your resume, then your resume will be picked. So let's take one point here. Suppose uh, here you can see one requirement is there from the interview point of view, particularly I'm talking about this line and uh, here there is a requirement that candidates should have experience on that uh, GL. So now related to this GL, I'm going to explain one point and that question is related to difference between our so the question is, what is the difference between non-leading ledger versus extension ledger? Difference between your non-leading ledger and extension ledger. I'm explaining this one theoretically, but uh, conceptually, but you each and every point you try to uh, make it scenario based so that it will be easy. So I'm going to sh show you some screenshots which I uh, captured from my system. So accordingly, you can uh, use those or you can just create some scenario. Don't directly put the answer here concept the question is what is the difference between non-reading ledger and uh, if we are going to compare this one with extension ledger so difference between non-reading ledger and extension ledger so you can see here non-reading ledgers are created supplement to your leading ledger so what i'm trying to say here that means we know that when s4 we are working on parallel accounting and in parallel accounting we are having option that we can use multiple ledgers together not only the leading ledgers we can also use along with our leading ledger the non-leading ledgers so parallel parallelly along with our leading ledger we can use the non-leading ledgers so that is why i said that non-leading ledgers are created supplement to your non-leading let's say we have uh, operation in uh, in india and for india point of view let's say we are working on uh, some local require requirement some local gap for that purpose we may use another non-leading ledger so leading ledger for general operation which is our one accounting principle we have assigned that maybe we are using for our global reporting point of view and for the local reporting we are using the non-leading ledger so in this way we can use the non-leading ledgers so you can take any example maybe it is related to asset valuation it is related to some income tax requirement point of view it is related to uh, some 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 requirement point of view can use non-leading ledger or maybe you can say uh, one non-leading ledger we have operation in multiple countries for one country we can use one non-leading ledger so one company could having multiple ledgers are possible so that is the concept of non-leading ledger whereas the extension ledger uh, in S4, we have two types of ledger, standard ledgers and extension ledgers. So under standard ledger, we have leading ledger and non-leading ledger. Plus, we have another category ledger is there, that is your standard ledger, uh, extension ledger. And in again, in extension ledger also, we have multiple categories are there. So an extension ledger always must have one standard ledger. It means whenever you are going to use any uh, extension ledger, so that time you have to make sure that if I'm going to use one extension ledger, so let's say my extension ledger is N2. So one second. So if I'm going to use one extension ledger, let's say it is N2. So for this extension ledger N2, I'm going to take one underlying ledger. So that may be our leading ledger. So your extension ledger is N2 and every extension ledger, we should have one underlying ledger. It's not like independent like your standard ledger. So your extension ledger must having one underlying. So that is the meaning of this line. Okay, so and all these requirements related to that job profile which was there there is candidate should have good understanding on all ledgers so an extension ledger is always must have a standard ledger and uh, having as underlying ledger so extension ledger having underlying ledger as standard ledger example where we can use the extension ledger or where we can use the non-reading ledger so non-reading ledgers are not integrated with other modules 
particularly for example when we have uh, we are going to integrate with a logistic module so that time we don't use non leading ledger so generally we use all our reportings everything related to our leading ledger but then when we are going to use the non leading ledger so non leading ledgers as already i have given the example like you can use this one for the asset accounting point of view so it is integrated with other sub modules like your asset accounting so this is one chart of depreciation and if you we'll check this chart of depreciation i do have uh, here i have requirement of uh, two accounting principles i am using one is my accounting principle ifrs another accounting principle is my gap and you can see this ifrs is linked with my leading ledger and there is a some requirement where i am using one more accounting principle and that is linked with my non leading ledger now this is my non leading ledger this is my non leading ledger and is linked with accounting principle okay so all my general operations reporting my your uh, cost of good calculation so everything is going to report with my leading ledger whereas for asset accounting point of view for parallel valuation point of view i am using one more ledger that is my non leading ledger so this is best example where you can use non leading ledger parallel with your leading ledger if this requirement is not there then maybe we don't need non leading ledger so we are okay with our leading ledger as there is a requirement of another accounting principle so that's why we are using the non leading ledger but <clears throat> when we are going to uh, uh, and this is one of your standard ledger like your leading ledger now extension ledgers cannot be integrated with asset accounting as i said ex uh, extension ledger may reduce the use of a non leading ledger but it is not the replacement of your non leading ledger so you can't use in the same scenario you can't use extension ledger so extension ledger has some specific requirement so earlier we have special purpose ledger so that now we are replacing with our extension ledgers we have some specific requirements where we can use extension ledger everywhere you can't use extension ledger best example in asset accounting now in this case you can't use one extension ledger it has to be your standard ledger means it has to be your non leading ledger so extension ledger cannot be integrated with your asset accounting with your material ledger valuation point of view it has to be means it has to be your standard ledger standard ledger means leading ledger or non leading ledger okay so i hope you got my point so we have two type of ledger one is your standard ledger another is your extension ledger so leading ledger we know very well that is our regular reporting point of view and parallelly if we need to add some more ledger then we can use the non leading ledger and this is one example where we can use extension ledger so uh, sorry uh, um, your non leading ledger and uh, let's see some more points related to our non leading ledger whenever you are going to define your non leading ledger so that time also we know that for every ledger we have to define our fiscal year variant we have to define posting period variant currencies accounting principles all these things we need to define so you can check this screenshot so currency type for your non leading ledger by default it will copy from your leading ledger so if your leading ledger suppose this is your leading ledger and this is our non leading ledger and for example here we are using the currency type 10 which is our default currency or company code currency and let's say this is inr then it has to be the first currency of your non leading ledger and it has to be inr so that is the meaning of this one so currency type of non leading ledger by default copied from your leading ledger okay so that is why here you can see this is my non uh, this is my non leading ledger yeah this is my non leading ledger and you can see the currency type as 10 which is inr and it is derived from my leading ledger this one is coming from my it is my global currency and it is coming from my controlling area settings accordingly i have selected cross company code so that is why it is coming so this is the characteristics or this is the specific requirement related to our non leading ledger so whenever you are going to define the non leading ledger so make sure that this will come from your leading ledger settings after that so we know that in s4 we can define 10 currency types so out of 10 currency to type two type two currency types we have require restrictions but after that eight currency type you don't have any restriction here for your non leading ledger so you can take any any uh, any currency type maybe you can use 40 maybe you can use 50 maybe you can define your own currency types g1 g2 g3 for reporting purpose up to eight currency types you can take anything so there is no restrictions here also you can see 
fiscal year variant point of view also there is no require no restriction like for example if i am using for my leading ledger let's say jan to report jan to march reporting that is v3 and for non leading ledger i can use here k4 you can see here i will show you one summarize uh, screen also but here you can see that this is calendar year so k4 so this type of there is no restriction for non leading ledger okay so leading ledger and non leading ledger independently we can use as if it is one uh, real ledger just like your leading ledger so there is no restriction nothing is there now coming to next one posting to non leading ledger don't impact any other ledgers okay so this is another benefit where you can say uh, related to our non leading ledger so whenever i am going to post any ledger specific posting whenever i am going to post any ledger specific posting it is not going to update other ledgers for example let's say i have uh, one leading ledger i have one non leading ledger i have another non leading ledger too so both are your my non leading ledger okay so if i am going to post any ledger specific entry that means for a requirement uh, purpose we are posting anything maybe manual posting or maybe it is through the configuration point of view so it is going to update that ledger only okay so you can see here this is a ledger specific posting means it's not manual posting it's one asset acquisition so you can see with reference to this operation document i got this ledger entry and this is my non leading ledger entry so it is not going to update my other ledgers so this is the another benefit of non leading ledger so if we'll summarize what is the benefit of non leading ledger so non leading ledgers parallelly with your leading ledger we can create we can use it as per our requirement non leading ledger but mostly we are using not using this is integrating with logistic but we are using for other areas like asset accounting for inventory valuation point of view for any other parallel accounting point of view we can use non leading ledgers non leading ledgers uh, can carry a different fiscal year variant a different posting period variant and different currency settings except that first two currencies uh, other than that eight currency you can change and whenever you are posting anything to non leading ledger it is going to update in that particular ledger so parallelly we can have two profit and loss and balance it so leg leading ledger wise we can run the report and we can also run the report related to non leading ledger so what what i am explaining try to configure all these things in the system so that you will feel more confident in interview because in interview they will ask you the like cross questions will be there okay so like what scenario you try this so make sure that whenever you are answering these things try these things in system each and everything what i am saying try this in in the system explore these things and prepare yourself and answer in the interview because interview want to like you should explain something no interview want like they should not answer they want like they want to listen from you they are giving that platform you should answer but make sure that you should explore all these areas practically try these things in the system then uh, then only you will feel confident to answer something here so we talk good lot of good thing about non leading ledgers now let's move to the second part that is our extension ledgers right so demerits if i will say related to non leading ledger so far i i already like i explain all the good things so consequence if we'll see whenever you are going to post any uh, related to any general posting let's say b50 entry it's a general posting if you are posting it then it is going to generate the duplicate document suppose let's say i have three ledgers are there and i'm going to post one document a b50 or through general entry app in fury then you will find one document for leading ledger you will find one for non leading ledger n1 and you will find another non leading ledger for x1 okay and all these you will find in your ac docket table so this is load on the database our intention is not to generate duplicate document but this will be there with non leading ledgers plus if there is a requirement in the mid of the year you can't add the non leading ledger so non leading ledger always it should be planned in the year end so this is two these are the two areas where you will find the problem related to non leading ledger now let's check related to our extension ledger <clears throat> right so this is our extension ledger so whenever i'm posting anything related to any ex uh, uh, posting to underlying ledger and for your reference here underlying ledger is 0l so if i will post anything to the underlying ledger if i am posting related to my leading ledger so you can see this is a document which is posted related to again this is also similar uh, asset posting and it is uh, related to leading ledger so we are trying to post the document related to leading ledger and this leading ledger having one uh, extension ledger so this n2 is my extension ledger having the underlying ledger as 0l now check the next 
Now you can see it is not only posted with our extension ledger. You need to compare this one first. So here I try to post one document uh, asset acquisition document related to our non leading ledger and as per this accounting principle only this non leading ledger is updated. That's it, right? But when there is a posting to our leading ledger and if that leading ledger or if that standard ledger having some underlying ledger now you can see this result here so this is posted with my leading ledger of course that we want plus it is posted with my extension ledger it is also posted with my another extension ledger so that means in this company code i have two extension ledgers are activated so that's why you can see these documents are generated but it is only for reporting purpose it is only for reporting if you'll check your ac docket table okay try this one you you will not find any data there in the ac docket table if this duplicate entries will be there it is only for the reporting point of view because it is underlying ledger so as this both the ledgers n2 and n3 having the underlying ledger as 0l that is why this duplicate entries are there how can we will confirm next check the next ppt you can see this summarization so this is my leading ledger this is my non leading ledger and here if you can see this uh, non leading ledger having a different fiscal year variant and different posting period variant and different accounting principle whereas check these two extension ledger n2 n3 exactly whatever is there in your leading ledger same is there for your extension ledger so that is why whenever and you can see the fiscal year variant posting period variant of course we can change there is no restriction but you can see this currencies everything is as it is so whatever your underlying ledger setting same will be there with your extension ledger and that is why this duplicate entries are there but good thing that it is not going to update in your ac docket table it is not going to update in your ac docket table okay so i'm just doing a comparison between your leading ledger and extension ledger so where uh, the sorry comparison between non leading ledger and extension ledger so when non leading ledgers are independent ledgers for a specific purpose we are using whereas extension ledgers are having some specific requirements are there so both having its own advantage and disadvantage so you can't say that we are not going to use extension ledger we are going to use non leading ledgers because if we are going to use non leading ledgers then always load will be there because of duplicate entries if it is general postings and uh, second thing at the any time you can't add the non leading ledger but that uh, and that is why we have the extension ledgers are there but this is the problem with extension ledger extension ledger you can't use everywhere on the same requirement you can't use the extension ledger it has to be exclusively for your non leading ledger point of view now check here this is my settings related to my extension ledger so already you have seen this uh, the ppt so extension ledger when you are going to take so always it is taking the data from your underlying ledger so this is my underlying ledger one underlying ledger can be non leading ledger also but in this case i am using leading ledger as my learning so this currency this currency everything everything copied or inherits from your standard ledger or your underlying ledger right you can even this field you can see it is freezed this one is freeze this one is freeze this one freeze only this one i can change posting period variant that's it next already you have seen this one then uh, <coughs> where we are going to use extension ledger already this points uh, these are i explained let's read out those things so duplicate document will be posted for non leading ledgers with general posting i already explained if you are going to post a b50 entry then duplicate document will be there whereas extension ledger will not consume database space when it will as it is going to derive data from our underlying ledgers so extension ledgers these three points already i explained already so extension ledger can be activated any time during the year so there is no restriction each point try in the system uh, so that it will give you the confidence to answer in interview now why we are going to use extension ledger for the what purpose so as i said extension ledger has its own requirement so extension ledger we are using for a specific purpose so extension ledger you can use with co adjustments for example let's say finance point of view our period closed now we have to do some adjustments we have to do some reposting we have to do some allocation some something we are doing 
only related to our SEO point of view. So as you know that whenever you are going to have some SEO activities, for example, let's say you are going to post a, a reposting in SEO by using let's say KB61 or let's say KB11N, right? So in that case, KB. 11n so that time system is going to generate one seo document that we know already so let's say this document number is 1200 and this document is going to generate a finance document which is your document type as seo because of fico integration i already have uh, videos in uh, that link i will add it here so this document for example this is the document generated 20000 now this document where we can generate or how we can report this document because if we are trying to do this in a closed period for example right now we are in january and we are doing this reposting related to december so our current period finance point of view it is january but seo adjustment we are doing for the controlling point of view so that in this case we will use extension ledger so without disturbing our leading ledger this internal adjustments we can do with our extension ledger so this is the best example where we can use extension ledger so if there is a need so we can immediately create one extension ledger in the mid of the year and you can use it so this could be one uh, requirement where we can use the extension ledger what could be the other regions Predictive accounting. So under margin analysis, now we have uh, normal processes with sales order. We don't have any accounting document. That is the traditional process. But in S4 from 2020 onwards, when we have the predictive accounting is there under margin analysis. So with reference to sales order, also you will have the accounting document will be there. So with reference to already I have predictive accounting videos are there. So that also I will add in the link. So you, can, you will get that. So with reference to predictive accounting, with reference to predictive accounting when the accounting document will be there because every document having its ledger so with reference to sales order when the accounting document will be there so how we are going to report that so that will be there in your extension ledger okay uh, quickly let me show you that uh, so already you know that we have one extension ledger is there this one this uh, n2 okay so this extension ledger n2 is there this uh, no n3 i guess n3 i'm using uh, let me quickly check that so i'm just going to run a report in our ac docket table let's verify with reference to sales order this extension ledger updated or not so i'm checking here n3 that is one of my extension ledger already you have verified and let me also add here my operating concern because we want to check here our profitability analysis point of view and uh, this one let's take as 006 and uh, let's execute let's see the output so my requirement is with reference to sales order this uh, accounting document will be there or not and we will also verify the sales order number here so this is my output and all these uh, entries are there related to our n3 and uh, you can see this uh, document <coughs> These are not your normal documents, right? So these documents are your predictive entries. These documents are your predictive documents. And here, what ledger we are using? We are using here the prediction ledger. So this is one example where you can use the extension ledger. That means under margin analysis, with reference to sales order, this accounting document will be there and these documents will be reported with your extension ledger. Let's confirm that this, this is generated with reference to our sales order so i need to search the sales order here reference document as sales order so these are the sales order two to seven so source reference document so these are my sales order and that is why these predictive entries so this could be one reason where we can use the extension ledger for the predictive accounting point of view now check what other areas SEO adjustment already explained, predictive accounting already explained, then for simulation ledger. So simulation ledger again for the currency valuation point of view when the actual 
execution is not completed for foreign currency valuation that time also we can use extension ledger for the simulation ledger point of view this one i can't show you because this process will be like it's completed that means once you will go for final run then after that uh, it will be converted into your leading ledger so like predictive entries these entries will not be there in the sc docket but temporarily if it is a uh, simulation run then those entries also will be there in the sc docket you can check so this could be the one more region so one is your adjustment predictive entries and for simulation ledgers then for the valuation difference point of view that they are also we can use extension. so conclusion is both ledgers are required both our extension ledger and non reading ledgers are required and these are uh, very important area for example this uh, non reading ledgers and extension ledgers so we can't say that we are going to replace non reading ledger with extension ledger it may reduce the use but it is not going to replace one example i have already explained that in asset accounting you can't use extension ledger similarly at the time of need if you need one additional ledger that time you can't use non reading ledger that time you need the extension ledgers only so try to make different scenarios for these points and uh, i hope it will help you uh, when you prepare because whenever there is a requirement like knowledge of gl is required so if someone is asking gl don't that i know that leading ledger non leading ledger extension ledger try to make everything on scenario based like you can say like in my last project i configured all this maybe let's say you have not configured any project so practice point of view at least also you can create the scenario you can say these things i configured in my uh, business requirement point of view this requirement is there client put this uh, requirement and accordingly i configure if you find this video is interesting uh, you can subscribe my channel so keep i'm keep on adding different videos on different topics which will help you in your interview preparation point of view thank you very much take care